Hey everybody, AJ here. I am Texas Green Tea on Twitter, and this is the second video I'm making of Editor VR. This is the experimental version of Editor VR. It's not uh, ready for prime time yet. It's not in a release build, but they have released an experimental build for us to play with. Um, this video will have all of the links for you to download it, but I made a separate video to kind of give you an intro of how all of that works. So if you haven't seen that yet, there's going to be a link provided to, for you to check that out first. Um, in that video, I finished off by showing you some of the, uh, the menu items that we have in the tool set for Editor VR, including this hierarchy. And not only that, um, this is standard Unity functionality that we have always had available in 2D that's now available in VR, which is cool. Um, but, the, but Unity, in addition to that, also provides the ability for us to create our own tools. Um, and so I actually experimented with doing that this weekend, and the tool that I wanted to create was actually a replacement for this hierarchy. And there's a, a really specific reason I wanted to do that, so check this out. Um, you have your hierarchy just like the normal 2D hierarchy. You have objects you can select here. You can uh, drop them down. You can select one at a time. I, I wonder if there's a way to rearrange them here. I'm not sure. I haven't been able to figure it out. Uh, maybe they're still working on building that functionality. But this whole interface here strikes me as strange in VR because it's a 2D list and it's a representation of stuff that's already here with us in 3D. Um, so for example, if I select this guy, how do I even know that's the guy I selected unless I look over there and see, oh, the transform has been highlighted now. Um, but I have to, in order to engage with this and that, I have to keep moving my view from here to there to here to there. It's a little bit cumbersome. And if I move this guy over here to fix it, well then he's, occluding the other stuff in the scene. So it, this view is just kind of in the way no matter how you slice it. And so that was the first idea I had for a, uh, a tool that I wanted to create. So I decided to experiment with the documentation that Unity uses to um, open up this entire tool set for developers so that we can create our own tools. Um, I'm gonna provide the documentation uh, link that, that Unity has created for this. Um, so look for that at the end of this video, but here's an example of the kind of thing that you can do. So I created this tool, I don't know if you can see it very well on the, on the uh, video, but it says hierarchy mode, and underneath it says 3D hierarchy for those who don't like lists. And so if I select that, I get a little hierarchy mode HUD, and you see I have an HM there that stands for hierarchy mode. So my right hand is now in hierarchy mode. So what do I do with that? Well, I'm not sure. So I look at the HUD and it tells me, it looks like this is context sensitive. It says select an object. So I select an object and it says hover over child. Before I do that, check this out. You notice there's the regular transforms. This, this is Unity's current version of a transform handle, which hopefully they're going to change a little bit. It looks a little bit messy to me, um, but you know, it gets the job done. Um, you've got the rotation, you've got translation, so on and so forth. In addition to that, you actually have these blue lines that I've created. These are parent-child lines. So in hierarchy mode, you can interact with parent-child relationships without needing the hierarchy list that we had up before. So for example, if I hover over a child, it tells me the name of the child, and it tells me the child index. So that's child two, that's child one, that's child zero. And you can see child zero has some children also. Um, but what if I want to change one of these relationships? Say I don't want that to be a child anymore. Well, I just pull the trigger. All I have to do is pull the trigger and I can toggle the parent-child relationships on and off. So I just took all of these guys and removed them from this parent just by pulling the trigger on them. Um, and you can do this with any object in the entire scene. And the coolest part is rearranging your uh, children as they're attached to a given object is really easy now because every single time you select a child, when, it, when you have the parent highlighted, for example, the parent's the current selected object. And that's why I can see these child lines connecting to each of the children. What if I want to re 
order the children. So this one's zero, this one's one, this one's two. What if I wanna go zero, one, two instead? Well, all I have to do is, uh, is pop and push the, the child from the list and then they'll end up at the end of the list. And if I do that in a certain order, then they'll all be reordered in that exact fashion. So if I wanna go zero, one, two, all I gotta do is this. Push, pop, sorry, pop, push, pop, push, and pop, push. And now we have child zero, child one, and child two. Now if I wanna do zero, one, two, then pop, push, pop, push, pop, push, and then we have zero, one, and two. So it's a lot of fun to, to uh, be working in these early stages of trying to figure out what the right interface is for a virtual reality environment. Um, I'm not sure that this is exactly the right way to do it, but I feel like something like this is a little bit better than having to deal with these 2D lists. I mean, this is a good fallback. We're not, we're not gonna totally replace this. We'll probably have to come back to it every once in a while. But if most of the time, if we can have it out of the way, out of the way, <laughs> then, then we'll be better off, I think. The source code for the tool I built is gonna be available online. Um, so feel free and download it and play around with it and add your own ideas to it. Um, and, uh, and hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions or if you have any ideas about where we can go with it next. Thanks a lot.